Alright, so this is going to be an epic video right here. We are going to be doing the video game console collection around the house. It's going to be an epic video. Let's get to it. Starting off is my GameCube, which works perfectly fine. The two controllers work perfectly fine. The other one has very scuffed, yeah, the other controller has a very scuffed left side. And the other controller has orange tape on it, but otherwise works. Now let's move on to the next game console, what we have around the room. For the GameCube, I have a couple games. Next up is this 401 console. Right here, it works perfectly fine, no issues whatsoever. As you can see, 400 games. Now let's move on to the next game console. I did a review on this console a while ago. Next up is the Nintendo 2DS. It does not work because it has a very, very, very bad LCD. And it has a missing D-pad, water damaged touch screen, and a very scratched screen. And it's missing a stylus. And the back's very scratched up. It's missing, a, missing an SD card. Yeah, that's why the 2DS does not work no more. As you can see, right here, doesn't turn on. Tried charging it, but the lights appeared this time. Now let's move on to our next game console. Next up is my PlayStation 2, which works perfectly fine, no issues whatsoever. I have two controllers. One's the Dual Force, which has a dent. Right here, and once the other controller, both of the controllers work perfectly fine. Now let's move on to the next game console. Last game console. Well, next. Actually, this is the PlayStation 2 Slim. Next up is a 620 M1 console. It works perfectly fine, no issues whatsoever. I have a Genesis controller, and the other one, they both work perfectly fine. The other controller I had to throw away because most of the buttons do not work. Now let's move on to our last console. Last but not least, it's this original model, the PlayStation 2. It works perfectly fine, no issues whatsoever, but I need a new video and audio cord for it. Otherwise, it works. The one that goes for my PlayStation 2 Slim fits with it, and it works perfectly fine. Now, that's going to do with me for the video game console collection around the house. This is Dad's account. Thank you for watching. I hope you like, subscribe, and comment. See you again in the next video for more of your favorite reviews, compilation videos, camera tests, demolished buildings, and more.